Hey everybody, it's AJ for Disney Food Blog. Today we are gonna head over to Saratoga Springs and Old Key West to do our food tours of these resorts. All right, we're gonna head over to Saratoga Springs Resort first. This is the one that's right across from Disney Springs. So it's a great location if you wanna get over to Disney Springs really quickly, which why wouldn't you? Because there's tons of good food there. Oh, and there's shopping too, but what would I know about that, right? So Saratoga Springs is a fun one right there on the water. You can also take a boat over to Port Orleans French Quarter and Port Orleans Riverside where there's some great food as well. So that's the story about Saratoga Springs. We are gonna start with a multitude of pool bars over here. First up, we're going to talk about the backstretch pool bar. This is over in the grandstand section of the resort. Here you're going to get sandwiches. There's ham and cheese sandwich, tuna salad, chicken Caesar salad wrap. They have a variety of chips and drinks as well. All right, next we're going to head over to the paddock grill. This one is a relatively large, I should say a larger than the backstretch pool bar, kind of pool bar and grill. This is in the paddock area and they're going to have a little bit higher level food, not higher quality necessarily but grilled food hot food so they have a bacon cheeseburger chicken sandwich chips things like that um, so you're gonna get more of a substantial meal here at the paddock grill and then over at on the rocks pool bar which is at the main pool this is where you're gonna get your standard pool bar drinks things like that over at the main pool in Saratoga Springs Next up, we're gonna head over to Chippendale's Cafe. Most people in Disney World would probably never ever even know this was here. This is over at the Lake Buena Vista Golf Course. It's kind of a little food window, basically. You're gonna get deli sandwiches, grilled cheese, hot dogs, snacks, candy bars, granola bars, chips, and beverages, things that you're gonna to wanna to grab after you finish golfing or in the middle of your game. And just a heads up, here's something interesting. They have Golferade here. Golferade, which I guess is a drink for golf golfers, which you can tell I am not one, but I have golfed. I have taken golf lessons actually, but I am not an avid golfer. So I don't know what golfer aid is. So if any of you have had it or enjoy it or endorse it, recommend it, let us know in the comments what you like about golfer aid. <laughs> so that's Chippendale's Cafe over there in the main house or the main building of Saratoga Springs. All right, the next place to chat about over there at Saratoga Springs is the Artist's Palette. This is the counter service location. So here you're going to get a full menu of counter service eats, including buffalo chicken panini, cheeseburger, thin crust pizza. They just introduced uh, fresh dough pizzas, fresh dough flatbreads, I should say, at several of the resorts, Port Orleans French Quarter, Port Orleans Riverside, Saratoga Springs. And so you're gonna get a brand new flatbread experience the next time you're at Artist Palette. They've got a really great bakery case here with really interesting things. Saratoga Springs is a little bit far out for most people to go on purpose to as a destination for food. But if you happen to be staying there, definitely check out the bakery case because they're doing some really fun things over there. Like they've got the chosen one, apple, mousse, gosh, I don't even, dome. <laughs> I don't even know what to, see, what to call it. They've got the iridescent cupcake. They've got a milk and cookies cupcake. Um, I know they're gonna be changing things out for the season in pretty soon, but they have some interesting stuff there as well. And finally, at Saratoga Springs, we're gonna talk about the Turf Club Bar and Grill. And this one is the table service restaurant over there. It's notoriously low on my list because I've never had a super great experience there, but many of you have responded to my previous videos letting me know, hey, AJ, it's good, it's better, you should go check it out. So we will definitely do that. We'll get over there for another review at the Turf Club soon. But over here, they have a really good buffalo chicken dip. They've got New York strip steak, pork chop. Um, and some people honestly say that they have the best meal of their whole trip here. So, hey, as, as I always say about Disney restaurants, the only consistent thing about them is that they're inconsistent. So you never know what experience you're gonna get. So let us know in the comments if you've been there and you love it, or you've been there and you hate it, or you are undecided. Let us know in the comments about Turf Club. Next, we're gonna head over to Old Key West, and this is the original Disney Vacation Club property. And I should state also that Saratoga Springs is an all Disney Vacation Club property. You can stay there if you are not a Disney Vacation Club member. You can book a room there, of course, but it is all villas in there. There are no regular hotel rooms. Okay, so Old Key West is the same. It's all villas because it was the original Disney Vacation Club property. You do actually have larger villas there for some reason. The rooms there are just a little bit bigger than the current villas they're building now. So that's a good deal. If you know you want a little bit more room to spread out, Old Key West is your place. So this place is also connected by boat to Disney Springs, but it's a little bit farther off. I definitely can't walk to Disney Springs from here. 
over at Turtle Shack poolside snacks. You've got the pepperoni pizza, hot dog, this is of course by the pool, uh, cheese pizza, a turkey sandwich, tuna salad, just some sort of sandwiches and salads and things like that. Cold stuff, not a lot of hot stuff here. Um, chips, you do have a soft pretzel with cheese sauce, and you do have a couple of kids meals too. You have a hot dog and macaroni and cheese here. The Gurgling Suitcase at Old Key West, which I think is probably one of my favorite names of any restaurant anywhere in Walt Disney World. Um, here you're gonna see some lunch and dinner and late night dining. So this is going to be more of your bar and lounge situation, conch fritters, boneless buffalo chicken bites, fish tacos, barbecued pulled pork nachos, some fun and themed food here. And what I love, they have specialty drinks for two, a ton of specialty drinks for two here that are a little on the pricey side. We've got a Blue Hawaii, a Key West Freeze, Goombe Smash, of course that Turtle Crawl. The Turtle Crawl is a famous drink here at Old Key West. Siesta Key White Rum, Parrot Bay Coconut Rum, Sailor Jerry Spice Drum with Grenadine, Pineapple, Orange, and Key Lime Juices. So lots of rum and citrus in that one. And then they have specialty drinks as well. Again, the Turtle Crawl, they've got the Sultry Seahorse here with Di Serono, Creme de Banana, Pineapple Juice, Orange Juice, and Cherry Brandy. So they've got some really fun, unique drinks here that are unique just to this location. They got several beers, including craft beers here, and then of course, non-alcoholic beverages over there at Gurgling Suitcase. At Goods Food To Go, which is where you're gonna sort of find the counter service items. They've got great breakfast, lunch, and dinner items. Breakfast has a great breakfast bowl with O'Brien potato scrambled eggs. They have got Olivia's bread pudding, which is delicious. Breakfast platter. Lunch and dinner here, of course, is gonna be chicken nuggets, cheeseburgers. They've got a jerk chicken rice bowl, which is cool. A hot dog, pulled pork sandwich. They've got a few salads as well. So that's the deal over there at Goods Food To Go. And finally, we'll head over to Olivia's Cafe, which is actually a hidden gem. It's one of my favorites in the resorts, um, although nobody ever heads over there, but there's a really homey feeling here. It feels really comfortable. The food is good comfort food, and, and the service is always really great too. And I do love, since this is an entirely DVC resort, they do really treat the members like family here, so it's really fun to see that as well. So here they've got a great breakfast. I don't know if you've ever had breakfast at Olivia's. If you have, let us know in the comments, but it's excellent breakfast. They've got omelets, buttermilk pancakes, banana bread French toast, which is so good. Some super cute kids meals, including those Mickey waffles. Lunch and dinner here are also really good comfort food meals. Something that I love here, the Olivia's potatoes, some of my favorites. Buttermilk chicken, pork chop, slow roasted prime rib. I love the key lime tart here. The key lime tart here is amazing, so definitely get it if you can. They've got a banana bread pudding sundae, which is incredible. Incredible. So lots of good eats here at Olivia's. Again, I think it's kind of a destination. I would actually, if you have an extra dinner or an extra lunch or an extra breakfast and you feel like exploring a different resort, you know, Olivia's is definitely worth a shot. I know a lot of people won't get over here, but it's quite, quite good. So there is Saratoga Springs and Old Key West for you. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please let me know in the comments if you guys have stayed here, if you like the resorts, if you like the food, let us know your experiences with the restaurants as well. Thanks for listening and thanks for watching. This is AJ for Disney Food Blog and be sure to check out our other food tours. We've covered just about everything in Disney World now with our food tours. So definitely go check out our food tour playlist right here and you can see all of them or at least the ones you're interested in.